It's quickly becoming a bit of a meme to see how big cameras can get on the back of phones, and I think humans get really accustomed to how designs look, but if you flash back a few years and look how tiny iPhone cameras used to be, it's actually quite insane how massive camera modules have gotten on smartphones. So in today's video, we're going to be addressing the meme while simultaneously being a tad practical about how big can these camera bumps actually get. Let's begin. Probably the most gargantuan camera bump that got memed a lot this year was the iPhone 13 Pro because it got the same size bump that used to be restricted to the 12 Pro Max, which when you have a larger size phone like I do, the camera bump relatively doesn't look that crazy. It looks proportional, but if you take this exact same size bump and bring it down to a smaller phone, that's where it starts to feel a tad insane and Apple starts to bump up against their own limitations like having MagSafe Duo with the iPhone 13 Pro. It technically works you can still charge it through MagSafe, but accessories are getting really, really close, particularly if you use an iPhone 13 Pro with a case, then attach that to MagSafe Duo. Yeah, you're, you're kind of bumping up on the limits, but it's also important to remember why exactly the camera bumps have gotten so large. I hope people realize that there's a tad more to it than just companies thinking if we put big bump on the back, then consumers will think better camera because big camera better than small one. Although I will agree, that's probably a big part of it. Like Apple was able to fix two very capable cameras in the iPhone 10 and iPhone 7 Plus, and they also fit two cameras into the iPhone 11, and yet they take up way bigger square centimeters of the glass on the back, so maybe some manufacturing efficiency is to blame for that, but overall, I think a lot of companies have now embraced and registered that camera bumps are something consumers are not necessarily looking for, but they are willing to tolerate, although I personally don't think that many people actually think, okay, this phone has a big camera on the back, therefore it must be good otherwise the Microsoft Lumia phones would have sold way better but the reason cameras keep getting bigger and bigger is because they seem to be one of the few areas of smartphones where companies can see fairly objective and marketable features that will separate themselves from the competition so if you're able to brag about we have four cameras and one of them's a macro lens and one of them's a super ultra mega super telephoto lens and that can zoom further than the iPhone particularly with a lot of Androids it doesn't even matter if the computational side of the photography is very good even if the lenses are pretty crappy at the end of the day just having big numbers that you can flex with your phone so people think wow four cameras okay yeah this must be pretty good so that's why we keep seeing this domino effect which has two meanings really domino because it keeps getting worse and worse over time as the dominoes fall over and also camera bumps freaking look like dominoes as samsung and google and apple just keep cramming more and more cameras and bigger and bigger lenses on the back but considering displays are all starting to be become fairly equivalent with each other. You know, most smartphones have made the switch to OLED, most premium smartphones have made the switch to 120 hertz and dynamically changing to save battery life. So once you've got great battery life down and your CPU and GPU can cover most mobile games, it can handle all of your texting and Twitter scrolling and watching YouTube and they've all got stereo speakers. Basically all these smartphone companies have backed themselves into a corner where now camera upgrades are really kind of all they have going for them to separate themselves from each other and say, you should get a Pixel because it does this camera feature better and you should get an iPhone because it's the better option and that is a fact and you cannot disagree with me. But also, yeah, like cinematic mode and ProRes and all that stuff's really, really cool and you can't get it as easily on other phones, which means as long as they're competing with each other in this regard, there's essentially no disadvantage as long as people keep buying phones with big camera bumps and from Apple's perspective, we vote with our wallets, you know? If we buy a phone, even if we don't like how big the bump is, Apple considers it a sale. That means you liked what they did with that particular model. We keep buying these phones that keep getting bigger and bigger camera bumps, so where does it end? I'm sure. A lot of people are like, okay, I think this means cameras are just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger until they're the entire back of the phone, and we just have to have these crazy lenses that hopefully have some sapphire infused glass that can protect them from drops, but yeah, structural integrity I'm sure will likely get worse and worse as the cameras get bigger. However, I do want to give you guys a glimmer of hope that I mentioned earlier, MagSafe might actually be our saving grace because Apple seems to be pushing it pretty pretty hard in the accessories game between cases and the MagSafe wallet and even the MagSafe battery pack. That requires a certain number of magnets that have to be embedded into the phone and Apple seems to love wireless charging quite a bit. I certainly appreciate it though I'm an Apple sheep, I get it, I'm not the average consumer. I love MagSafe Duo though and I love the regular MagSafe puck and I just love being able to use one hand to drop my phone on a little puck and it starts charging and personally 
personally, as much as I think Apple cares about camera performance, I don't see that going away in the future, where they're just like, ah, we don't need wireless charging, we're just gonna do everything wired. If anything, Apple wants to drop the port and go all in on portless, like they have on the Apple Watch and AirPods for the most part. So my theory, when it comes to the iPhone and to a lot of other phones out there, is they're going to eventually take up as much possible space as they can on the back of these phones that still preserves the ring for the wireless charging area, which basically means that in regards to the iPhone 13 Pro, Apple has kind of reached their limit, you know? On the iPhone 13 and 13 mini series, they've still got a little bit of space for that camera to get bigger. Honestly, in the future, this is a wild prediction, I don't have sources or anything, but I wouldn't be shocked if the camera bump starts going further outwards. Before, it used to be like the stoplight mode, it just go up and down. Now it's more of a square. In the future, to get more lenses, especially periscope lenses, which it sounds like Apple might be switching to in the future in order to get like 50x telephoto zoom or 100x telephoto zoom as pointless as some of you may think they gotta go somewhere and they don't know what else to do so periscope lenses take up a lot of space horizontally so I would not be shocked if they start making the camera bump go this way more because I can't really go much further down without impeding on MagSafe compatibility the 13 Pro I think is the first evidence of like okay we're reaching our limits to how big these bumps can be but keep in mind the 13 Pro Max hasn't quite reached that limit yet so I think it's it's very likely in the near future that this bump will probably increase in size in order to accommodate for larger sensors, bigger lenses with wider apertures. That means you can have more detail, more low light shots that don't have much noise. Basically, the more light you can capture, the better the camera will be able to produce an image. So on the Max series of phones, I would not be shocked if they kept increasing the size of the camera bump until they basically bump into the MagSafe ring where you can't even use certain accessories anymore. You gotta find that line where it's like, okay, we can't go bigger than this and then cut back like a tiny, tiny millimeter amount. That way, once again, the Max iPhone will probably have a few camera exclusives, which I know a lot of you guys don't want. Many people want the same great camera on all of the different sizes, but it's just a matter of physics. You know, you can fit better cameras when you have more volumetric space to work with. And the Max technically does at this point. So right now, 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max have identical cameras, but similar to the iPhone 7 Plus and similar to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I think that Apple in the future will likely start restricting some camera features to larger phones like the Max and probably start building off more this way to have insane telephoto lens performance. And yeah, in all these renders and all these concepts you guys have seen, it's very ugly. It's kind of bizarre looking, but we're just not used to it yet. You know, I bet if you showed today's camera bumps to someone in 2008 and said, hey, this is how big the cameras are going to be on your phones in the future, they would be totally caught off guard and be like, oh my God, why does it look like spider eyes and why does it look like a stove it would confuse the crap out a ton of people but in the long run i don't think it's going to stop people from buying phones i know we like to think it will but we just keep running out and buying these things so essentially i don't completely believe the meme that eventually the camera bump will consume the entire back of the phone because companies are going to care about wireless charging and apple's going to care about magsafe but every area that is not wireless charging and magsafe wouldn't be shocked if they make use of that to give themselves some kind of competitive edge over everybody else it's kind of awkward to put cameras down here though because that's normally where people are holding the phone so probably they're gonna stick up top but who knows people might get creative people might get crazy start putting some cameras up here some cameras down here as long as there's a little wireless charging area but yeah it's gonna get ugly that's I guess what I'm trying to warn you guys about anywho feel free to let me know your predictions on will the camera bump go away will it get smaller someday is there any incentive or is there any selling point of saying we have the smallest camera bump in the industry would that get you to buy a phone feel free to let me know down below. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you guys in the next one.